my name is Teresa. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about what is in my makeup bag. I am going to Boston this weekend um, just for the weekend's real quick trip and I'm going with Triple A. It's like a bus tour. Um, me, my mom, and my daughter so it's $3.50 a person but it includes you know the travel it includes hotel, it includes the whale watching, lobster dinner, and then they also take us to Quincy Market on Sunday. So I know it is kind of expensive and it would probably be cheaper to do it on your own, but my mom is in her 60s, so I feel like for older people to have a trip planned out for you and transportation, you don't have to worry about anything, is worth it. So I'm going to be probably doing my makeup on the bus. We get picked up Saturday morning in Rochester at 3.45 a.m. So I'm not going to have time to do my makeup and there's going to be no stops. The bus does have a bathroom and they said for us to pack our lunch. So this is my bag. I received this in a boxy Lux maybe in March. And it's like a, what do they call it, like a train case. I know there's better bags out there in the market. Um, some people have bags with different compartments and zipper and stuff that's really nice. But this is just what I have, so I'm going to use it. For my palette, I'm going to use the Emily Edit Palette by Makeup Revolution. This is the collab with Emily Noel here on YouTube. If you've never heard of her, definitely gotta check her out. She, I love her. She does family vlogs. Um, she does makeup videos as well. And she's been on YouTube for years. She used to work on the news. So she has, she knows how to talk to the camera. I don't know. She's beautiful. I'm obsessed. The reason why I'm bringing this palette it has a good mirror and also it has bronzer, blush, highlight, setting powder, and eyeshadows. So it's like all in one palette. That's why she named it the Needs. Um, I think this palette is really nice. The only thing, it looks kind of like kids makeup, like the packaging. But other than that, I think it's just fine. I believe this is around $15. The highlight's kind of strange, but when you put it on, it does give like a nice glow. It's not nothing blinding. I think it's more of like a glow with it within. So yes, that's the palette I am bringing. And I keep the outer carton. I don't know if anybody else does that. I just, I just find it like protects my makeup. I don't know. All right, I'm not gonna do this in order. I'm just gonna reach it out of the bag. So I'm gonna bring my Wet n Wild Coconut 3-in-1 Primer Water. I figure I could use this for primer. I could use it for setting spray and to like freshen up my face, to moisturize, like hydrate my face. I do have normal to dry skin, so I thought this would be nice. Cause we are gonna be on the boat um, to see whale watching. It's going to be really windy, so I don't know if my skin's going to get like dry or chapped. And then I'm also bringing my L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. This has to be my favorite mascara right now. It's kind of, it's so cool. It has like a, it, here I'll show you. I don't know. It like, you could bend it to like get into little small places. I really enjoy this mascara and I'm wearing I'm wearing all the makeup I'm showing you and I just think it's so pretty. It makes my lashes look really nice. Okay. I am also bringing makeup wipes, makeup remover. This is from Dollar General. These are $3.50. It says sensitive skin. It's compared to the simple sensitive facial wipes. I haven't tried this yet, but Hopefully it works. I do have a problem with like makeup removers burning my eyes. So hopefully this is good. I'm hoping. Okay. 
for concealer, I'm bringing my uh, Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have it in the shade all Almond. It is a little dark. I could, probably could have went a little lighter, but I think once I blend it out, it's okay. And what I like about this product is I could use this as a foundation too. So if I'm like in a super hurry, I just, you know, dot it all over. It's foundation and concealer. And then what else? I'm also bringing my Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. I like putting it in my waterline. I know I'm going to be really tired. Um, my eyes might be red or whatever. So I thought this would be nice to bring along to help, you know, brighten up my eyes. Emily Noel also talks about this. She made me buy this. <laughs> Also bringing my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I have the shade F6, which is a perfect match for me. And the reason I'm bringing this is because it has a doe foot applicator. I want something quick and easy. I don't want to have to mess around with foundation, pumping it on my hand or whatever. I thought it'd just be swipe it on my face and blend it out with a brush. Super easy. And then this is my Wet n Wild retractable, retractable Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. I like this. Um, I don't really like recreate my brows. I just kind of fill in little spaces, kind of deepen them up a little bit. But the reason I like this to bring is it has a spoolie. So I don't have to bring an additional spoolie. And then what else for makeup? I'm trying to show you my makeup stuff first. This is Milk Blur Stick. Um, I received this as a point perk, 100 point perk at Sephora. The reason I'm bringing this is just because it's small. Small and it's a stick. I thought it would be easy just to rub it on my, like over my pores. Cause I do have larger pores like around here in my nose, so. And then I also wanted to bring this. This uh, I received in an Ipsy. It's Ella Eden London in, I'm not sure what shade this is, but it's just a pretty like champagne shimmer because the Emily Edit palette, like the highlight I guess would be good, but I just like having a champagne shimmer. This is what I like to do when I'm doing an easy, natural look like what I'm wearing right now is my two you know go to everyday look and I'm not trying to be all glammed out I mean if that's what you want you know you do you but this is just how I like to look on an everyday basis I'm also bringing my ColourPop lip gloss in Aquarius I thought this would be nice because it has a little color to it, but it'll keep my lips moisturized. It's not too sticky. Um, I know I'll have to reapply it, but I love. I just love this color too. I love the Aquarius. So I believe that is it for my makeup products. I'm bringing, I was debating bringing this. This is my beauty blender. And it's still wet. I just washed it. And then this is the case I got from Real Techniques. The case is okay. Um, but I thought it was nice just in case. Like I wanted to use it. I don't know. I might not use it at all. And I'm also bringing Q-tips. And what else? And I am bringing this uh poopery before you go toilet spray and lavender vanilla this was $9.99 at jc pennies the reason i'm bringing this like i said we are going to be in a bus the bathroom is like a little outhouse type bathroom and there's going to be people sitting really close to the bathroom so just in case like me my mom or my daughter need to go we got this you know to feel a little more comfortable I highly recommend it if you're, you know, going on a trip. My friend, Sarah, 
actually bought this for me for Christmas. Not this bottle. I have another bottle. My boyfriend actually brought it to work with him because he is staying in a hotel room with another guy. And so, yeah. Oh, I'm getting off topic. Yes, my friend Sarah bought it for me for Christmas as a joke because I am shy about using public restrooms. But apparently not shy enough not to talk about it on here. So the rest of this, oh, and tweezers. Always gotta get tweezers. These are so old. They're Japonesque, Japonesque. I received these for free at Supercuts a long time ago. They were giving them away as like a promotional thing because I got my eyebrows waxed years ago. These are my favorite tweezers ever. They work the best. I love them. They're so worn, like the design, but they work just as great as the first day I got them. Okay, and these are all the brushes I'm bringing. I'm not bringing that many. I did just wash all of these, so they're nice and fresh and clean. Oops. So this is my Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH. I can't even see it. My eyes, oh, 39. It's just like a smudger brush. I thought it'd be good underneath the eyes. And then this is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH47, just like a flat shader brush for my shimmer color. And this is Sephora Ingold Liner. Just to, cause I've been liking to take like a dark eyeshadow and just doing around my lash line and underneath instead of using liquid liner. And then this is Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH49. This is just a highlighter brush. I just washed, it's kind of puffy. I don't know, I just like using it. It's kind of more precise for highlight. This is my BH Cosmetics blending brush. Probably my favorite blending brush that I own. It's nice, big and fluffy, really blowout looks. This is a buffing brush from Real Techniques. I figured I could use this for my foundation and my concealer because it's not that big. So use it for, you know, two purposes. One less brush I need to pack. This is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill Jage 04, I think. This is the blush brush. This is my favorite blush brush ever. I love how it's angled. It's perfect. Sometimes I notice when I put blush on, it like sits on top of the skin and looks strange and it'll make me look more textured. This doesn't do that. I don't know. I love this brush. I have a lot of Jaclyn Hill Morphe blush brushes. I got the eyeshadow set and the, the face set for Christmas for my boyfriend. So I don't know. I just love them. They're my favorite. And then this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07. I'm going to use this for my setting underneath my eyes and my face. I know it's small, but the palette has a small, the setting powder is like a small little pan. So I thought this would be good. And then this one, I believe is from Eco Tools is I'm going to use this for my bronzer. And I like it because it, it closes up and has a cover and you push this down. Like if you want it to be more intense, and then you push it down so it's more fluffy. And then this one is my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33. Just another little bit smaller blending brush. I figured to maybe deepen out my outer corner. So that is all I'm bringing. I hear my daughter outside. She's coming home from school. So I will see you guys soon. And I'm going to probably be back with a video Monday or Tuesday with my vacation vlog, hopefully, from Boston. So, yeah, she just walked in the door. I will see you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching, and please like and subscribe. Bye.